Kim's travel secrets. Today's vlog is about Puglia. If you're not exactly sure where Puglia is located, it is a region of Italy that is at the heel of the boot and has remained under the major radar of tourism. If you're the type of person that likes to travel to places that's kind of off the beaten track, Puglia should definitely be on your list. This past summer we were invited to a wedding in Puglia which I was really excited about because it was a area that I hadn't been to before and I had heard a lot about. I had heard that it was now becoming the alternative for travelers seeking something different from the Amalfi Coast because of all the tourism there and I know that it is a place where the Italians go to holidays so that's always a nice secret tip. We went for five days and three of those days were for the wedding. So we really only had two travel days for ourselves. I tried to do as much research, of course, as possible before I went, but also didn't want to overload us too much uh, because we only had those two travel days. So I just kind of picked my key highlights. So in regards for airports, we flew in and out of two different airports. We actually flew into Bari and picked up a rental car and then flew out of Brindisi, which is a little bit more south and closer to Lecce. On our first day, we decided to do a mini road trip and visited the towns of Poliano, Amare, Monopoli, and Ostuni. <music> One of my favorite towns that we visited was the town of Ostuni, which is this beautiful white town perched on a cliff. You'll notice in the architecture in Puglia that it has a lot of Greek and Arabic influences due to its location um, down at the south of Italy. And uh, you can see in Ostuni that definitely grew the Greek influence is really strong there with the whitewashed houses. We decided to park the car and walk through the little town and then stumbled upon this cute little restaurant where the owner was making handmade orchette, which is the pasta of the region. Obviously the place where we spent our most time on our trip was at the wedding venue which was Masseria Pontetti which is this beautiful Masseria located in Manduria. So you'll notice this word Masseria come up a lot which is a farm say that's been converted into a hotel or embedded breakfast. It is something special and unique of the region so you should definitely stay in a Masseria when you go to Puglia.
wedding festivities had finished, we had one day left to visit uh, Puglia. So we decided to drive down the southern tip of Puglia and visit uh, all the little towns there and then went to this beautiful restaurant called Lo Scalo and rented some day beds there and then continued our way on to Lecce. <music> One of my other favorite places that we visited was Lecce, which is actually one of the bigger towns in Puglia and is known to be the Florence of the South for its Baroque architectural influence. We were fortunate enough to have visited on a Saturday, which I had read that had the biggest passeggiata, which is the Italian tradition of going for an evening promenade before dinner. And everybody is out from children to families to lovers to tourists, everybody. It's definitely something to see. Oh. Well, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you really enjoyed learning about Puglia. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel as I do have more vlogs in the pipeline. Grazie mille and ciao. I look forward to seeing you next time.